Brought to you by... What's going on, short film friends? Welcome back to ETF, where today we find ourselves stalked in true slasher form by a psychotic ex, and we take a look at the unseen. From Reddit director Steve Merlo. This film teeters between placing you alongside a young woman who is attempting to recover from a dangerous and toxic relationship by getting herself back out onto the dating scene, and the point of view of her fractured ex-boyfriend whose obsession won't allow him to let go of her. A bold choice that I feel pays off pretty well, making for a much more interesting narrative. Merlo chose to present this one in a high contrast black and white, which combined with a very specific camera style, delivered an almost Hitchcockian or Polanski-like flair. There were many moments that brought me back to Psycho or Repulsion, which I'm sure was no accident, and the climax of the film paired with the killer's voice heard throughout the piece, were reminiscent of when a stranger calls. All of it brought back waves of nostalgia that made for a very pleasant experience, though I probably could have done without the dirty film overlay that was placed over the whole thing. I get the reason for using it, but I don't feel it was necessary. I thought the performances throughout this weren't half bad. Sure, they weren't perfect, and I can definitely see others criticizing them for being bad actors, but if you look at the film through the lens of a 60s style thriller, it kinda works. As I said a long while back in my review for Trouble Is My Business, I have always loved the 60s black and white aesthetic. There's something about it that just captivates me, and Merlo wasn't afraid to go the distance with it here, showing a strong command of the lighting, letting things fall into deep, unforgiving shadow. I thought the choice to drop us into the killer's POV was jarring at first, but quickly won me over, and it began to remind me of Peeping Tom, which many credit as technically being the first slasher film. Merlo put a lot of detail into this one, going so far as to incorporate things such as making all the women look very similar to the killer's ex, and even each time you first see them, they are all writing in a notebook, similar to the one that she wrote his breakup note in. I don't know guys, this one just kind of worked for me. The only thing I might have changed was the use of cell phones during the middle moments of the film. It does kind of pull you out of the 60s aesthetic, Personally, I probably would have placed the phone call once her character got home and worked in some older landlines. Maybe had the killer call her from a payphone and have her kind of assume that it was her date with the same slightly playful tone. But I'm just kind of nitpicking at this point. If you look at this as a simple modern story told through the lens of a 60s style, then it all works just as well, and this can be used to defend mostly anything from the acting down to the kills. I'll admit, they were lacking in this. The one that was the hardest to watch was the strangulation scene. It definitely could have used some more work to make it feel a little more authentic. My suggestion would be adding some screaming or choking sounds, although in 60s films, death scenes weren't perfect either. With all things considered, I'm giving Unseen a B-. I think with a little more time spent on just a few key moments, and this film would knock it out of the park. Overall, I felt that the story was told in a very straightforward fashion and presented with a high degree of style. If you're a fan of these style films, I recommend checking this one out for yourself. As always, it's linked down below. If this gritty black and white is your thing, you will likely get some enjoyment out of this. If you enjoyed today's video, please feel free to let me know. It's just a quick scroll down there to that comment section below. If you're enjoying the channel more than words can describe, shoot me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. 
If you'd like to show your support even more, come find ETF on Patreon or Tippy, where every pledge and every tip brings you rewards galore. Not to mention allowing me to bring you more films to explore. But all jokes and rhymes aside, if you have any films that you would like me to check out or that you might like to see reviewed on this channel, feel free to reach out to me here down in the comments or over on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And I will catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.